Yes on yes. Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a new video. If you guys haven't seen the last video on my Your Sensor Switch, I tried to buy a switch for it and couldn't buy one. So I found one, ordered one online, and it just came in probably like a month later, but that did not fit. Found another switch for it that supposedly would fit. Let's see how that goes. Yeah, just gonna do your sensor switch finally. Have to do an oil change as well, so I'll probably do that today. Let's do this your sensor switch. And so if you guys haven't seen my last video, check it out up here. See what happened the last time I tried this. So it's under the cup holder in the center console thingy. All you need to do is pop that out and it's under there. And I'll show you guys which wire it is. It's under here. I already took the blank out here. All you need to do is pop this out. Pop that out, and all of this should just pop out. Alright, so got that out, and if you can see in there, it's that green wire that's exposed. It's this green wire here. There's usually black electrical tape on there. Alright, so to see this switch will fit in here. This holder is held on by four screws. Pop that out and you pop the switch out. Alright, so all that should just come out. Alright, let's see if this fits. I'm super, super happy. This switch fits perfectly. That's so satisfying. That is so satisfying. Now I'm just gonna wire it up. I'll show you guys what you have to do. Pretty straightforward um, job. Cut the green wire, then cut back the insulation. I'm just gonna do twist and tape. Don't forget to disconnect the battery because this is electrical and just in case. As you guys know, I'm not that fond of electrical stuff. We'll see how we go. So I got two pieces of wire. I just bought a kit, like a wire stripper and like all those female and male connectors and comes with heat shrink and everything like that. So hopefully I don't mess this up. I just cut the green wire. I'm just going to expose a little bit. I exposed a little bit of this wire. I did stuff up a little bit. I did cut off a big chunk of it. Just gonna do this one and then put the new wires on. I just used a blade. I did them to both wires, to both ends. I'm gonna attach one end to uh, each of the green wires and the same one to the back of the switch. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and do that. See if I've done this right. I just twisted them together. I'm just gonna tape it all up. I uh, just taped everything up, as you can see. Hopefully the wires are still intact. I cut this wire to size to fit into the female connector to fit on this switch, fit on the back of the switch. So the power one is this on here. Put the red one, the power on that one. Put this wire into the back of this, just like that. Grab your crimping tool. Um, this should be all good to go into the switch. Yep. Perfect fit. Now it's going to do in the other side, this one here, and then we'll see if it works.
fits perfectly. Cool. Just gonna chuck chuck it back into this little connector. Yeah. Put the battery back on. The switch is right here, right here. Let's see if this works. Oh, holy shit. Holy crap, I'm so happy. Whew. Your sensor switch is on or turned off. The slip light and the VDC off is on. And so it's turned off. To turn it back off, it's in the on position now. And that's off. And that's still on. To turn the your sensor off, you have to turn the whole car off. Turn it off. Start it back up. Bang. Nothing. Nothing is on. If you're just driving along and you want to turn the your sensor on, switch it on. Everything comes on. Yeah. The whole time my heart was beating so fast, so I was like, please don't stuff this up. Please do not stuff this up. I got it. It works. Oh. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I'm so, I'm just relieved. Just relieved that it works. Let's do this oil change. And yeah, this is a good day. This is a good day. All right, let's put this shit back together. good that looks that's that looks like it was supposed to be there <laughs> finished up at the store got the oil filter got the K&N HP 1008 I just got the Penrite Enviro Plus 5W30 due in about like 200 kilometers so I might as well just do it now since I have free time not sure if I'll do it today to be honest but I might do it tomorrow Did not get a chance to do the oil change yesterday, but I'm gonna do it today. Just gotta to bring the car in. I drove mine on bricks because I really cannot be bothered jacking the car up. Please don't be like me. I'm lazy. I might die. Yep. Yeah, please take the car up. Please be safe. Don't do what I do. Got the plastic under tray. I like to keep one um, like screw on just so it's easier to put it back on. Let's drop the oil. Let's get this new oil in. All right. So it is a 14 mil socket. Chuck this on a ratchet and good to go. While the oil is draining, have some tea, have something to drink, have something to eat. It's going to take a while. Take out the dipstick and the oil filler cap. I just want to drain out all the old fluid as much as I can. It's not going to be perfect, it's not going to be all out, but I just like to do it as, as much as I can. Also, I forgot to mention, take the oil filter out.
what I like to do is take your new oil filter, get some new oil, get a little bit, rub it against that seal and a little bit on the inside as well. I just say it seals nicely. Now we're going to chuck this on. Alright, so everything's forced up, everything's good. Let's start the car and see if it's still working. Everything's all good. Successful oil change again. Thanks for tuning in, thanks for watching the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Possibly next week I'll get new tyres fitted, so stay tuned for that. I'll get a little review on the tyres when I fit them. Try have some fun with this your sensor, if I can, because it's long weekend and it's double demerit points, so... If you guys haven't already, please like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.